Hey, it's me. So on today's video, I want to try this viral TikTok foundation hat. Meredith Daxberry, I hope that's how you say her name. She has been going viral for her TikTok, so today I will be testing out her tutorial because I want to see if it works for me and what happens to my face and my makeup routine. So the first thing that I saw Meredith do in her TikTok videos is that she takes her foundation and puts it on a stick and then she rubs it all over her face. And so lucky me, my foundation already comes with a stick. So, you know, that's good. That's amazing for me. She takes the foundation and just rubs it all over her face like that. I am so terrified of staining my clothes. That always happens and now that I'm doing this foundation routine, I feel like I'm just going to make a huge mess and I'm really scared. From Meredith's videos, she puts a lot of foundation, like a lot, a lot, a lot. So I am just going to, you know, do that as well today. My foundation does not match my skin at all. Um, it matches kind of my face, but it doesn't match my neck. So in my other videos, you will literally see that my neck and my face are two different shades. And honestly, I want to fix it, but also I don't really care like that. So it is what it is, you know? I think I've put enough foundation everywhere on my face. So now it's time for me to blend the foundation with the palm of my hands. Yes. I don't know. I feel like I should just use my brush. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> this feels so wrong. Oh my god. Okay. It feels like I'm washing off the foundation off my face instead of putting it on my face. This is so wrong. It feels like I'm doing something illegal and I am going to blend my neck as well. I have blended to the best of my ability with the palm of my hands. This is how I used to actually blend my foundation in middle school when I would steal my sister's or my mom's foundation and just rub it into my face with the palm of my hands because I could not even afford $5 brushes. I was broke and now here we are we're back again we're back to where we started but i see why people use the palm of their hands because when i use a brush it usually takes me anywhere from like three to five minutes to blend everything because i'm trying to be more precise but with the palm of my hands i just you know rub it in like i'm washing my face with foundation that's literally what i just did after she does her foundation she takes her concealer yes i know this is the wrong shade of concealer i'm supposed to be using something that's close to my skin tone but I bought this concealer to do blonde eyebrows and then I just used it as a concealer now that I've done all that we're gonna go back in with the palm of my hand I think she blends the concealer with the palm of her hands too um, she also uses a beauty blender but I do not own a beauty blender So far, the texture of the foundation and the concealer together is very sticky. This is how it looks. Roar XD. I'm really terrified where this is going. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I'm sorry, but I have to blend this with a brush. It, it does not look right. Okay, now that I've put the powder on, it's starting to come together. So I feel like maybe, maybe I am going somewhere with this. I was, I was a little scared. I was, I was a little worried, but I feel like it's coming together piece by piece. I never put this much foundation on my face. Look at the texture of my face. 
my skin looks way smoother than it actually is and I think it's because I put so much foundation on today this would never happen on a normal day so maybe I will change my foundation routine because this kind of looks nice you know this does not look bad I really need to find my foundation shade I never know whether to match my face or my neck and at this point I feel like I just need to sit down and figure out what foundation will be a good middle ground for me because yeah no okay so I'm back and in the interest of time I went ahead and did my entire face and this is how my skin and my face looks like right now this is how my makeup looks like after two hours yeah and we're gonna take it off now so I'm gonna do this side of my face do you see that that is how much foundation is on my face this is the side with foundation and this is the side with no foundation as you can see that foundation was so thick that you could no longer see my hyperpigmentation and dark spots which was really really nice so in conclusion I think that Meredith's way of doing makeup is really really unique to her and it might work for others it might not work for others for me I think I like it um, would I use my fingers again to blend the foundation if I'm in a rash yes but on a normal day no probably not because it stained my clothes it stained everything that I touched and I feel like it's a little bit too messy for me but it's a very fun way to do makeup and I think that if you want to try it you should try it and see how it works out for you anyway that was it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next video it's good.